Ugh. Oh God, those are some bad haircuts. Now what if I told you it gets even worse? These are the worst haircuts in NBA history. And for Carlos Boozer, his hairline was pretty crispy in college, but by his second NBA season, things got bad. He was only 22 years old, and he was completely bald. So it can't get worse than that, right? You have no hair on your head. How can you have a bad haircut? Well, we wouldn't be talking about him if that was the case. Because in a game between the Bulls and Celtics, the cameras zoomed in on Boozer. And what we saw still keeps me up at night. What? What is that? This man got a Sharpie and just doodled on his head. You really thought we wouldn't notice? Unbelievable. But at least Carlos's haircut wasn't so bad, the NBA had to ban it. For Amon Shumpert, that's exactly what happened. See, when he was drafted to the Knicks in 2011, the only thing people could talk about was his ridiculous high top fade. I mean, the hair was so eye-catching that Adidas wanted to do a shoe deal with him. And what better way to celebrate the deal than getting the Adidas logo shaved into the back of your head? Yeah, and he even showed up to a game with the Adidas logo in his hair. But the very next day, Shumpert's phone rang, and it was NBA commissioner David Stern. And let's just say David didn't think this haircut was crispy, not one bit. And according to NBA rules, you're only allowed to rep brands on your shoes. So Shumpert was forced to get rid of the logo, and it left the man looking like this. Damn, David really made this man shave the logo out of his head. That's petty. Now, sometimes though, NBA players have a haircut that means more than just fixing a hairline or repping a brand. Some hairstyles are heartbreaking, like Lonnie Walker's. On draft night, when Lonnie was called up by Adam Silver as the 18th pick by the Spurs, he walked on stage, put on his new team's hat, and shook the commissioner's hand. You know, the usual. But because of his ridiculous hair, the man's hat looked like it was floating above him. Like, that's not Photoshop. It's literally what it looked like. So, you know, Twitter did its thing and they turned the man into a meme overnight. And it didn't stop there. Because now that he's in the NBA, the dude's hair was on full display for millions of people to see nearly every single night. This meme became inescapable and it was a constant pain for Lonnie. So it only took two seasons until he got fed up. He decided it was time to cut all the hair off, but not before setting the record straight. So he posted a video on Instagram cutting his hair. And with that, there was a caption that told a heartbreaking story he'd never told the world before. He revealed a traumatic event from his childhood where he was abused by a family member. And being that young, he wasn't able to understand the impact that this would have on him for life. After that night, he decided the only way he could take back control was with his hair. It may seem weird, but everyone deals with trauma differently. You know, it's an emotional thing. And, and you just gotta respect how people get through it, even if it doesn't, you know, make sense to you. But uh, JaVale McGee, on the other hand, I'm starting to think this dude just likes to get roasted. Cause back when he joined the Warriors in 2016, he got a haircut so bad, it outshines Steph, Clay, and KD. I don't know what this man was thinking, but uh, he showed up to his barber and got this. What the f is that? This man's barber did him dirty. And you wanna know why he did him dirty? Cause he didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. We got every barber in the country on payroll. And if you ain't subscribed to Rebound, they know what to do. So what are you doing? But anyways, since JaVale never subscribed, it got even worse. He took this weird ass rat tail strip in the back of his head and got it braided. Ugh, like, what is this? Even Draymond had to clown the dude. What the hell was this man thinking? But eventually, JaVale shut everyone up because when he won a championship, he had to rub it in on Twitter saying, 
I'm the only person with a rat tail and an NBA championship. Let that sink in. Hey, JaVale, dog. It's not something to be proud of. It's not. It's disgusting. It's a disgrace to hair. And you should be ashamed of yourself! <sighs> but I think Alfred Payton might have taken some inspiration from JaVale. Because he vowed to never cut his hair until he won a championship. Problem is, he's on the Knicks. So you already know this isn't going to end well. See, when Peyton was in high school, him and his team agreed that no one could get a haircut until they were holding a trophy. And uh, these guys obviously wanted some fresh lineups because the team went 30 and four, but just one went away from the championship game. The team got knocked out and they were devastated. But as heartbreaking as this was, Peyton's teammates still hit up their barber and they all got faded. But Peyton, he was different. No ring, no fade. And well, this became the best decision that he ever made. Cause that year, Peyton committed to the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and finally got the recognition he deserved. Except it wasn't for his skill. Yeah, he was putting up 16 points, five rebounds and five assists per game, but it was his hair that made him stand out so much. He became a staple for the school. And in 2014, Peyton was drafted with the 10th pick to the 76ers, immediately getting traded to the Magic. All right, so imagine this. You got a pack with yourself to never cut your hair until you win a championship. And now you got to do that with the Magic. Yeah, one of the worst teams in the NBA. Oh, but it gets a lot worse than that. He ended up spending four seasons with the Magic. And uh, yeah, they didn't win a championship. So his hair went wild. Like, what the hell even is this? How can you even play basketball with this thing on your head? Oh wait, he couldn't. Sometimes it would literally block his own shots. Things got so bad, it was all anyone could talk about. He has yes, the yes. worst hair in the NBA. <laughs> How much fun do y'all have with his hair every day at practice? All right, Chuck, chill out, dog. You sound a little jealous. You ain't got a hair on your head, bruh. Leave Alfred alone. But regardless, Peyton was tired of getting clowned. He eventually said, the most asked question I get is how my hair looks like this. It's just how my hair grows. But I'm gonna have to cut it soon because I'm over the questions about it. So in 2018, it finally happened. You ready to do this? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Thank God, man, because uh, he's playing for the Knicks now. I don't know how long it would have grown for. The thing would have looked like a damn tree on his head. Ugh. But, you know, for some NBA players, they wish they had hair like Peyton. And LeBron, he's definitely one of those players. The man started off with a pretty solid head of hair. But as the years have gone by, his hair has become mysterious. One day, it's a beautiful full head of hair. And the next, he's got a damn penny on his head. I mean, as the years went on, his hairline just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. But somehow, LeBron's hairline has bounced back or forward. I don't even know. Like, can someone tell me how you go from balding to this? Anyone? Well, LeBron's barber insisted that this comeback is completely natural, but uh, Let's be real here, dog. Ain't no one buying that nonsense. We all saw what happened in 2019, LeBron. You can't hide from the truth. <laughs> but here in 2021, it weirdly made a full comeback. See, he dropped the Space Jam 2 trailer on Instagram, and he had a glorious full head of hair. Mwah. That's beautiful work, Warner Bros. I ain't seen CGI this good since Jurassic Park. Yeah, LeBron's not giving up on his hair anytime soon. It clearly means a lot to him. But LeBron's not the only player whose hair means the world to them. LaMelo Ball loved his hair so much, he refused to cut it for years. Until one day, his family put their foot down. Back in high school, LaMelo was making a name for himself. And as he became the star point guard for Chino Hills, in just three years, his hair completely transformed. 
He went from this baby-faced kid to, well, a baby-faced kid with a mop on his head. But by 2018, things started getting out of control on his head. Both of his brothers and his dad were tired of his ridiculous hair. So they paid a barber to come to their Chino Hills mansion and everybody in the house forced LaMelo to shave it all off. Go get your hair cut, bro. I trust in Vic. I know he knows what he's doing. It's definitely time for Melo to hit that reset button. I don't need a haircut, though. Yes, you do need a haircut. I, I have an appointment next week. Oh, my God. He lied. Come on, Melo. Let's do it, baby. I'll give you $100. $500? i will give you $100. i will give you $100. $600. Deal. $700 is my final offer. I'll go balls for that. What are you doing this, sir? Why are your dad and your brothers putting so much pressure on you to cut your hair right now? It wasn't even pressure. They forced me to. This is long overdue, bro. I like his head low. I don't like when he wakes up and it's smashed up against his head. Yeah, welcome back home, son. You ain't got that Lithuanian look. He's sad, though. You looking fresh, though. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My forehead too small now. Damn. I know LaMelo was sad about this, but there is a bright side. Most NBA legends don't have long hair. Just look at Shaq, MJ, Charles, even Kobe realized the fro had to go. So, you know, I guess the Ball family was just trying to make him a legend. But you know LaMelo, he doesn't really do what his family says. So, this dude's hair is already long as hell, just three years later. Alright guys, now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for the number one worst haircut in NBA history. I'm talking about Drew Gooden. See, Drew thought it'd be a dope idea to grow something called the duck tail. This man kept one patch of hair on his entire head and it looked disgusting. Yeah, and no one except for Drew thought that this was cool. When he showed up to training camp, his teammates tried to force him to shave it off, but Drew just couldn't do it. He'd tell them things like, I'm getting compliments, and the ladies love it. Man, there ain't no way in hell any lady said they loved it. Gotta be talking about blind chicks or something. Ridiculous. But this man didn't learn his lesson, because once he got traded to the Bulls, he transformed his look again, and somehow it got worse. He came out with the worst beard I've ever seen. Like, I, 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 I can't even explain what's going on here. This man not only has the worst haircut in NBA history, but the worst beard too. I'm not even hating. I'm just spitting straight facts. Tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, at least Drew didn't end his NBA career with a single viral video. Because that can happen. What, you don't believe me? Well, click this video right here. This is how a man went from $40 million NBA deals to his whole career ending from a single viral video. You need to hear this story, man. So what are you doing? Click it. 